these are the babies, one day old. This is day two. Baby is sleeping. Mom is eating. Saki is reading. And also, Sushi is reading. So, Kenji is uh, eating the uh, worms again. This is a uh, 36 hour after born. Saki, what are you waiting? Hmm? Sushi, what are you doing? Just finish your worms? Uh, this stand is uh, made of mainly supported by a piano bench, which my neighbor threw out to be picked up by a trash man. So I just brought home because I see the potential. At the beginning, I just used the cardboard as a wall. At the beginning, it will work fine. But later, when the puppy grown up, they began to destroy things. They're trying to get out very easily. So right now, I'm just change it, use more solid wall. And I don't need any hard work, just draw, draw holes, drill holes, then use cord to connect them. Okay, so they don't have a chance to get out. And the all area has to be solid so they won't have a chance to get out because they will be the masters of escape. And this door also important because you need to lock them solidly. Then you can use whatever means to lock it up and the lower part and this will have a, a hook will lock this so this door will be very solid otherwise they will try to squeeze out hard okay the reason when you need to lock the door because you want to control the baby you don't want them to get loose they will go everywhere and the heart train them. So when you have the door, when you need them to get out, you let them out. So you control when they come out. Mainly is for training, for pee pad training. Um, also, by three or four weeks, uh, they begin to eat. That's the also time to train. Once they get out, you want them to be in the area enclosed. So this area will be locked. And I will have a one box with a pee pad. So once I let them out, the puppy will come out, play and pee and poo on the pee pad. Because naturally they don't want to pee poo inside. Right now, it's mom is cleaning for them. She's doing a good job. She's trying to uh, uh, feel who, whoever is going to pee and poop. Then she's going to licking them to stimulate the pee or poo. Then eat them. But when they grown up, like a three weeks old, the puppy will get out, then they eager to pee poo on the pee pad outside the dam. That's the beginning to train to use the pee pad. Once they get used to the texture, then um, in the future they will go to the pee pad. When they, this area is not big enough, you can close the this part out. That's my design. This can be picked out very easily and they will have an enlarged area. You can put 
two pipettes or pipette box. But this area has to be locked. At that time, I just locked. So they have a two pipette area. Because at that time, they just barely cry. And uh, this will be out. So we begin the training. After that is the third stage. Okay. Each time you let them out, it, this is no longer pee pad. It's just a lot like the floor. Then you're trying to lure them from the door to this area, go directly to the real pee pad training area. The way is once you open the door, you immediately stay further away from the door. They will naturally follow you. So you go to that way, standing on the outside there. Then they will all go into it. Then you come back to lock this door. Okay. Then they will play and pee and poo in that area. Um, I used to use the high playpen, higher one, uh, so like four feet. I just felt it's unnecessary to need that that, that high because uh, they are not good jumpers. So I believe it's 20 inches is the best because it's easier for you to get into it, much, much easier. If the four feet is, is it's very hard to get in. So this area, that's the coming area for adults. So right now they use that to come in and to get this pipa area to do their business. And it works pretty good. He's going to pee or poop. That's a good boy. That's a very good boy. All right. Such a good job. But whoever got my puppy, because I already trained them, they, by the week seven, they normally use 95% of the pee pad. I mean, they mainly use it, but accidentally, sometimes they do somewhere else. Right now, mom is tired, sleeping. Day three, October 9th. So, they are pretty good. Some's relaxing there. Some still taking milk. Mom is cleaning. Saki is checking. Uh, also, the other simple job I have to do is uh, to make sure they, they use uh, the nipples evenly some nipples they don't use it often uh, they get pumps uh, that's very hard for the mother so if you feel any nipples surrounded by pump, pumps uh, just use the baby to try to help her she's not happy with uh, Saki trying to get in Saki you're a naughty boy. Uh, Kimchi very light, like like Saki very much. Uh, she treats him as a, her own son. So still, you know, she won't let Saki or Kimchi or Sushi go near her. Sushi is the father. 
Sasaki was not any part of the puppies. Hi, Kimchi. Are you good, Mom? Yes. Are you a good boy? No. In many ways, you're naughty. Look at the face. Hmm? But I still love you. Hmm? Normally, she is very kind to him because he keeps harassing kimchi. That's a bad boy. He's a Virginia boy. Virginia boy. Right? This stand is very convenient for me. First, this part can be closed. So if it, I need to keep them warmer, I'll close this part. If I need more, I can cover this part very easily. Also, because it can open, I can access inside to do the cleaning very easily. You know, we just have to use whatever available to make something useful. As you can see, when they sleep, they jerks. Maybe they are in the dreams. Or maybe they are growing. And uh, Saki is the first one to get in. He's checking around. Kimchi in the outside. Trying to push her way in. <laughs> oh my god. She wins. Of course, it's her baby. No, she still allows him to get in. So, when the baby ready to pull a pee, she smells it, then she cleans it. Right, Kimchi? You're such a good mom. We all love you, including. This bell boy, your pad. This is the pee pad. Already uh, more than one day. So relatively, the mom is doing a good job. And uh, you know, I can change, but each time I change, I have to move the babies from inside to outside. So I try to not disturb them as much as I can because uh, right now the pee pad seems still okay. The babies are very clean. So oh, there must be a boy ready to pee. Right, Kimchi? It's a fourth day, it's evening, so one half day. Uh, they are more active. Three is outside. So waiting. Right? What are you waiting for? Huh? Beautiful snacks. Babies begin to whine. Huh? A lot. Four in the front. One in the back. So. 
Number one. Who's watching? Kimchi is cleaning. Oh, on the fourth day, a mom, Kimchi, began to stay out for a short time because the babies things can warm up themselves. They don't have to depend on mother's temperature. And uh, remember, Kimchi is there. Okay. You love her, do you? 